It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements when what do you think he saw? A little girl and her dolly all on their own, crying real tears. Don't cry, said Bram. <laughs> what a lost, said the little girl. Lost, said Bram. I can't find my house. It's on the road near the horses by the seaside. <laughs> The seaside, said Bram. Well, that's a long, long way away. There's no need to cry. Now put up your umbrella. Looks like rain. That's right. And Brum along with me. Off they brum together, all around the town. was so heavy that it burst right in front of them. Well caught, Brom. Oh, thank goodness, said the old lady. If it wasn't for you, all my shopping would have rolled right down to the bottom of the hill. Please to help, said Brom. And by the time the little girl picked up all the tins, the packets and the oranges, there was only just room for Max. is this way, said the old lady, up near the church. That's better, thought Brom as the little girl unloaded him. That shopping was really heavy. When all the shopping was safely home, the old lady gave the little girl a cake to say thank you. Goodbye, they all said. And round the corner, there was the church. And there was Church Road. This way to Max's house, said Brum. I can see someone who's been missing him very much. Your turn now. Then what do you think they saw? Pictures on houses. A lion. Two 
elephants. And horses by the sea. It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements. When what do you think he saw? A boy in a wheelchair, seeing how fast he could go. You, he said to Brum. Come on, Brum. Come on. Brum was enjoying himself. Come on, Brum. This racing was great fun. Brum, an idea. Where do you think they went? To the cart racing track.
drivers were practicing to see how fast they could go. The boy in the wheelchair wished he could race a car too. And then, what do you think happened? Bron found the man who owned the carts, and he had a cart that needed a driver. Somebody hadn't turned up that day. Bron was excited. He knew just the person. Bron here thinks you could race one of these, said the man. Show him how fast we can race! impressed. They were very fast indeed. The boy had qualified for the big race. Last minute check all drivers. Last minute check all drivers. In the pits, all the cars and all the drivers were getting ready for the race. excited and a bit nervous. Don't worry, said Brom. I know you can do it. Good luck! And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the big race of the day to discover who will be a new champion. Boy began to overtake. He went faster and faster. He was winning. It was the last lap, and he was in the lead. Checkered flag went up. He'd won. I knew you'd do it, said Brown. What a celebration there was. Brum's friend was a champion. But where was Brum? Come on, Brum. Thank you, Brum. And off Brum raced, drumming. Ha 
happily all the way home. It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavement when what do you think he saw? A girl doing gymnastics. What are you doing? asked Brum. Practicing being upside down, said the girl. Seems like a funny way to enjoy yourself, thought Brum. You have to practice to be a great gymnast, said the girl. saw something even funnier. He thought it was a man on half a bicycle. He's looking for something, Brum, said the girl. the half of his bicycle, thought Brum. Let's follow him, said the girl. Shh, shh, Brum. The cycling man still hadn't found what he was looking for. Another extraordinary person was out and about. The man painting the road wasn't very happy.
There was no sign of the man on half a bicycle, but there was something else. Great, big, giant footsteps. Come on, Brum, said the girl. Maybe it's a giant, said Brum. <laughs> a giant, thought Brum. Are you following me, little car? said the giant. No, not really, said Brum. But the girl knew who he was. They'd worked together to give shows. He was her friend. Just then, along came the man on half a bicycle. He worked with them as well. The girl showed Brum the secret of how her friend walked on stilts. Hurry up, it's showtime, said the cycling man. You can't work with paint on your boots. Now you can help us with our act, Brum. Everyone loved the show. Thanks very much, said the stilt walker. Loved your act, Brum. And yours. Thanks, Brum. Any time, said Brum. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. And off he went. Brumming happily all the way home. Thank <laughs> you.
It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brumming his way along when what do you think he saw? A little girl's bedroom outside on the pavement. A bedroom outside, thought Brum. What's going on here? We're moving house today, said the little girl. There was lots to do, and Brum was pleased to help. Catch, Brum! Before too long, everything was safely packed into the van. But then, what do you think happened? Brom felt himself picked up and packed away. The removal men thought they had to remove Brom as well. Oh, my wheels and wipers, thought Brom. Now what? Brum, wondered the little girl. I never said goodbye. He must have gone home. Come on, shouted her mum and dad. It's a very long way to the new house. We must get going. Goodbye, old house. The little girl's mum and dad were surprised. It's Brum, said the little girl. He's come to help. But he can't stay here, said her dad. He's got his own home to go back to. Make up your minds, said the removal men. We haven't got all day. Brum was worried. Nobody knew what to do. Then what do you think happened? A friend of Dad's came along just in time. Bit of help from some more friends.
Brum was removed back to the big town. I know where I am. I can find my way from here. Goodbye. Goodbye. And off he went, brumming happily all the way home. It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavement when what do you think he heard? And then what do you think he saw? Two bad robbers. robbers running away. Help! shouted the bank manager. Don't worry, I'll help, said Brum. I'll chase them. Show, boys, said the other. Who really like me? 
magic show. Even Bron slept, but they hadn't. Bron was already inside and was watching them through the curtains. The magicians were friends of Bron. told the lady about the robbers and she looked through the curtains to see where they were. Brum had a plan. She whispered to her partner, do this for Brum. We need someone from the audience to help us, said the magicians. Do we have two volunteers? were glad to hide. The police were on their way. Wait here, said Brum. They won't be long. Surprised. Nothing like this had ever happened to them before. Thanks, Brum, he said. We've got the robbers, but where is the stolen money? Here it is, said Brum. Magic, said the police. I'll take care of it, said Brum.
It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brumming his way along the pavement, but the traffic was so noisy that he turned into the park for some peace and quiet. make a noise. <coughs> the baby's brother and sister weren't very happy, so its mum tried to soothe it. But the brother and sister still weren't happy. They began to fight over their skipping rope. No need to fight, said Ron. Three can play. to roll away. Oh, the baby! shouted Brum.
some wipers. You had everybody really worried, said Mum. Got to get you back to your mum. Runaway pram at all. The pram had run away by itself. They all thought it was very funny, but they were glad Brum saved the pram, even though the baby was with them all the time. Thank you, Brum, said the children. What a fuss, thought Brum. Babies. And off he went, brumming happily all the way home. It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements when, just by a zebra crossing, what do you think he saw? Another kind of zebra. It was a photographer and her assistant on their way to take pictures of animals. Suddenly, it stopped in its tracks. They've had a puncher, thought Brum. The lady was cross. I thought I told you to check the tires, she said. Now, what do you propose to do? Who's going to carry my tent and equipment? Oh, no. well, this little girl could carry something, said her assistant. Please to help, said Brum. Place. This way. 
Set up camp here. Bring the equipment. Camels. It's no good they keep moving. Make them stand still. Give them something to eat. Lights going. 
lions tomorrow, little car. <laughs> Thank you.